It'll be Michael Kasija. What a player he's been over the years to kick off proceedings. And the presence of Jerry Carpe up front. Dracos back in the starting 11 this week. And Stuart Webster red carded and sent off in the Cannons 1 0 defeat to Richmond. But it's straight to Damianos. And what about that for a pass? Dracos. Kasija on the turn. Charged down. John spilt it. And it was cleared there by Sweeney. And that's all started from the turnover from Barakis. And the ball comes in. A good low hard cross in. It's probably just a touch off balance. And uh, Martin John done very well to get that in front of Carpe. Damianos. It's a good cross too. John guides it across. Well, that was a sensational cross there from Damianos. He just put it in there and it's been a little bit too high for the couple at the front. But just dipping right at the right time. Whipped in Carpe with a free header. Kasija, unselfish. Diaco Carpe. And it looked like a ping pong table, but it nearly found the back of the net. <laughs> yeah, Simon's a really good cross in there. Carpe gets, tries to get first bite at it. He's beaten to it by, I think, Sweeney. And then manages to get another opportunity, but probably just a little bit too high for him there. And managed just to get the top of his head onto it over the bar. Matthew Evans nearly content with the 10 yard wall. Richards. In there too. Diaco, curling ball and an even better save there from Martin John. That was goal bound. And you see there, he just manages to curl it to the top left corner. Martin John does have it covered. It's a really good strike and possibly even get a, a touch off. Kasija who is trying to nod it in. Makes up. He doesn't have much uh, muscle and <laughs> size on him compared to Lex Carpe as the ball comes through. And and what, <laughs> what about that from Martin John Kasija there, free on the back post, should have finished that, and it's that man at yet again, Martin John, keeping a clean sheet. I think we're all so silent there, seeing Kasija, uh, someone with that elk and the amount of goals he's scored at this level, standing with no one within five yards of him. Only forced to make two saves late in the first and early in the second, and an opportunity here for Carpe with space on the inside. And Jerry Carpe, how quick was that, turning defence into attack? And you can see there... They miss one ball as it bounces up and two one-touch passes and they're straight through. And Carpe there could have done a little bit better. And much more end-to-end -end football too. And the cross might come undone. But yet again, Martin John is the reason the Georgies have a clean sheet. And just when I thought it was a poor cross, Carpe there unmarked on the back post. As you see that, Martin John, complete reflex save. It does very well. His experience gets him into the right position. Richards. Can the Georgies find the way through? Apostolikas turning it on the inside, blocked by McMaster. A great shot there from Apostolikas. It looked goal bound. It did, and you see the little poke through there from Richards just makes it. And you think he might lose his balance there, but he takes the shot. And uh, probably a little bit more power than we first thought because McMaster couldn't hold it. You can tell it's just two teams that really want to win. Completely different reasons, but you can just tell the keepers are quick to get it out now and they just want to catch the little team on the break. Diaco, speaking of being caught on the break, and you won't get better finishes than that. It took a sheer piece of class from Ricky Diaco, Oakley turning defence into attack. He caught one yard and he just spotted up, took an absolute cracking shot, Simon. Martin John, there was only probably one ball worth of space between his hand and the post. The Cannons can sense that second position is waiting for them on the ladder. Another infringement. As the referee waves play on, don't know what's happened here. Damianos across goal, Kasija, and all hell would have broke loose had Oakley scored in this small crowd. He's absolutely livid there. And if they, with had, the if they had scored from that side, then there would have been a, a big inquest into that from uh, the Georgie's fans. And Blackburn may have been held and an opportunity for an equaliser and the flag stays down and can you believe it, it's the new substitute Peter Katsupius. That was a fantastic cross in, it's nodded down, it looked like he was offside but I think he's managed to stay in line and he's finished that, it's a cracking goal and that's a, a bit of a lifeline here for Sunshine and Katsupius trying to make the run away from the, the card he's about to get. And that's his second. That's Can his you believe that? Oh. What, a, 
What a day, what a short debut this has been. Kasupias comes on 10 minutes ago and a silly infringement has cost the Sunshine Georgie scorer immediately off and that's his reward for scoring and Matthew Evans had no other option. The run coming from Cameron and remarkably could the Georgies do the double over Oakley this season. There's time for it to occur and yet they've been outplayed for the bulk of this game. McMaster punching off his line. As the set piece comes in, an interesting tussle there. And is the referee, I thought he was pointing there for a penalty at the moment. He has. He has. It looks like he has pointed for the penalty. I think that was Barakis maybe that was held. And he has given the penalty. Can McMaster stop it? Sweeney. And it's converted. Did it go over the line? It did. It's been converted. And the Georgie season is still alive. And we weren't saying this five minutes ago. And Sweeney steps up there. That is one of the most high-pressure kicks he'll ever take. And he's a young, young player. And it's the old cliche, football is a funny game. And if you want a definition of that, just watch this second half here from Knight Stadium. And remarkably, the Sunshine Georgies will survive another week just as, like, just as though they thought they were going to be condemned to the first division. Two goals in the last five minutes has turned this game and their season around.